Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And for the next couple of videos, we're gonna really be focusing on performance in SolidWorks. Today, we're gonna talk about VOR, verification on rebuild, and how that can affect the performance of your part files. But be sure to check out all of these videos because understanding what each of these options does can really help you to have the best possible experience in SolidWorks. Ow. So today we're going to take a look at verification on rebuild. And if we look at our options under performance, we can see that there's an option here, which is disabled by default verification on rebuild, enable advanced body checking. If we look at the help file, we can see the help file says this controls the level of error checking when you create or modify features. For most applications, the default setting cleared is adequate and results in a faster rebuild of the model. Well, I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not you want that to be cleared when we're done looking at this. But I think that what's important to recognize here is that this option here, enable advanced body checking. Basically what that means is whenever you create a new feature in SolidWorks, the faces of that new feature are gonna be checked against every other face on the model. If this option is not checked on, then the faces of your new feature are only going to be checked against adjacent faces of the model. So what does that mean exactly? Well, let's take a look at it in a practical application. We're gonna go here and create a fillet. Now we can see this model has a shelled wall here at five millimeters. So let's create a relatively large fillet here at 40 millimeters. And of course, this is gonna error when we create this feature, right? Oh, wait, it didn't error. Oh, wow, that, that looks pretty funky. What is going on there? See, if I roll around to the back, okay, that looks good. I can pick this corner. Oh no, I can't pick the corner. Now I'm picking the face of the fillet. This is weird, right? Well, this is a result of not having verification on rebuild checked on, which again is the default setting. So everybody should be aware of this. And what's happening here is when this newly created feature comes into existence, error checking occurs against this face, which is adjacent to the fillet, this face, this face, and this face, because these are all adjacent to the fillet, but no other faces on the model only faces which are adjacent to that newly created feature get error checking. And so we end up with this kind of weird geometry and you know, it might be a little more subtle. We might not even notice it, but where you'll notice it is if you go to export this file, you might get errors during the export or the recipient might get errors during the import process. Or you might also, you know, in a few features from now, run into the dreaded feature failed to complete due to geometric condition. And maybe you're wondering like, what the heck does that even mean? Well, a lot of times this is what it means. It means that there's some type of a, an anomaly or an error in the geometry. And so now you can't make a new feature in that same region uh, because the feature failed due to geometric condition. So now let's take a look at this and, and kind of compare it to going into our options under performance and turning on the option for verification on rebuild. And now if we do a control Q on our keyboard, boom, we see that that fixes the issue. We, we did a force rebuild, we rebuilt through the entire tree and now that issue is fixed. And just so that you can see that there is uh, nothing up my sleeves, if I turn off verification on rebuild and I do a control Q again, oh, that fixes the issue. Look, <laughs> the issue went away, we're all good, right? We're good to keep going. Well, maybe, maybe not quite. I don't think I'd be good to go here for this model. Um, but if we turn that option for verification on rebuild back on, and we do another control Q here. Now we see that there is an error in the tree. Now, just to, you know, to be fair here, if I was to edit this fillet feature, let's reduce this radius to something like five millimeters. When this fillet comes into existence, error checking is taking place between this fillet and every single face on this model, including all these faces way over here that seemingly have nothing to do with the fillet. And that's the performance hit that you take if you enable advanced body checking. But for me personally, it's worth it to just always have that option on. I think, you know, there's gonna occasionally be a really crazy model that I'll create that'll be, you know, real swoopy lofty and having that option turned on is gonna slow me down. And so in those rare occurrences, I might go in and temporarily turn off verification on rebuild. For the most part, I'm always gonna have that option turned on. And hopefully now, after watching this video, you understand the difference between verification on rebuild turned on versus turned off, and you can make that decision yourself. 
Let me know down in the comments if you learned anything from this video. And of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with a fellow SolidWorks enthusiast. And I'll see everybody in the next episode of Power Moves.